I need a marker and I need to uh, so I can cut it when I make the highlight uh, and yeah let me just reload that quickly let's reset up let's set things up all right uh, stop that back now we can move on to the kindred go have you done Simon the Sorcerer uh Yes, but not on stream. I played it, like, back in 08 on a laptop, and I finished the first game. I never played Simon the Sorcerer 2. I should play that. Oh, listen to that MT32 music. I'll let this run. Have I ever played this? Uh, yes. No. Um, actually, I forgot to change the, uh... Hello, I'm Jim Walls, retired police- oh god damn it. With Police Quest, you're not just watching some movie star portraying the glamorous part of police work. As Detective Sonny Bonds, you're the man behind the badge. It's up to you to learn and follow correct police procedure, to make the right decisions in life and death situations. In real police work, you have to know when to be a hero, and when to rely on caution and use other team players on the force. Some of the incidents of Police Quest 3 are based on actual events that occurred during my course of the, my career. I managed to survive them. Let's see if you can do as well under pressure. Here's the scene you're about to be walking into. Lydon, a once, once a quiet and peaceful little town, has been growing like a weed. There's new industry, good jobs, and a decent standard of living. Unfortunately, progress is not without its side effects. Poverty and crime are going up about as fast as the new cultural center. Homicide Sonny Bonds and his wife Marie are still on a honeymoon high from their wedding a few years back. Marie's got a good job at Oak Tree Mall and the two have a beautiful new home. As for Sonny, he was promoted to Detective Sergeant within the Linden Police Department. As the story opens, Sonny's just finished his sergeant training is back and is back on duty. Overburdened as the department is, he's been assigned to traffic division for a bit. Seems traffic is always understaffed. Well, that's Sonny's life. And it's a good one, worth protecting. And now it's time for you to assume the role of Detective Sonny Bonds. I happen to know you're in for a heck of a day. Oh, already. Okay, so let's put that volume up. And, um. It's. Two Whoa, 206, that's loud. Okay. So. Have I ever? So yeah, um, I've played a little, very little bit of Police Quest Three, but I never finished the game. Like I don't even know if I ever got past this part. Um, oh, that's really loud. That's super loud. So I don't know if it's coming out, but I don't know if you can hear the uh, the typewriters clicking. Can you hear that?
Can you guys hear that in the background? Like the um, keyboard typing. And the telephones. Can you guys hear that at all or no? <laughs> you can hear it, okay. So if I drop it down, because it's super loud, I actually had to set the desktop audio. Usually it's a bit lower than my regular voice, but I had to set it down to... Okay, hopefully you can hear that. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, the new fancy VGA... <laughs> yeah, this is the new VGA. VGA Graphics 256. No more typing things. We get to uh, use our hand, our legs, our eyes, our hands, and our mouth to get around. And our inventory, which I have nothing of. All right. Um... Cool. Let's save. New save. Start. Okay. It's you, Sonny. The elevator provides access to the other floors of the police station. That's the elevator button. You can hear it faintly. All right. As long as you can hear it, that's fine because usually I'll have like the audio. Uh, I'm looking at it now. So. I'll have the audio set to like, because I don't want it to overpower my voice, which it does. So I'll set it to be like, I don't know how to describe it. Like at least 10 decibels below what my, my speaking voice. Uh, the problem is that when I was testing, I couldn't get any audio output it unless I put it to zero. So I'm hoping that it's okay. Now, we'll see. The station's public address system. What's this? The bulletin board is where people post articles of interest, personal ads, and Chinese restaurant business cards. The window overlooks scenic downtown Lidden. You're in the hallway of the second level of the Lidden police station. Silver office doors line the hallway. That's Homicide's hall window. That's the hall to the sergeant's office. Hey, that's you. Cool. Okay, that's, that's super loud. That's super loud on my end. I don't know how it is for you guys. Uh, some of the fine art displayed here at the Lydon County Police Department. This is the sergeant's office. The bookcase contains law reference materials. Those are file drawers. Drawers. That desk belongs to the lieutenant. Your desk is neat and orderly, probably because you don't spend a lot of time here. That chair is for your visitors. Your good old well-worn chair. Your computer occupies the center of your desk. In this business, the computer is an indispensable tool. The bulletin board in here has information so old, there's a missing person bulletin about Jimmy Hoffa. Ha ha ha, I get it. It's a garbage can. That desk belongs to the lieutenant. All right, uh... That's nothing, nothing. We'll sit down. I don't have a computer access card, do I? The in-out basket appears to have something in it. You remove a form from the basket. It is a departmental disciplinary action form with a note attached. The note from the lieutenant reads, Bonds, please interview P Officer Pat Morales regarding a complaint. The complaint alleges that the officer used profanity and verbally abused... Uh, the complainant alleges that the officer used profanity and verbally abused him during the issuing of citation. Determine disciplinary action, if any, based on your interview. Leave this form on my desk when you're done. Okay. Uh, it's empty. All right, let's go. I do remember that we had to do a meeting, so I think it's over here. Oh my god. 
Walk. 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 Please walk to the right. There we go. Oh man, that's going to be a problem. The big problem with running this in Scum VM is that the edges of the window are easily adjustable. So moving a character runs me the risk of moving the window out of alignment, which will screw up everything. That's the door to the vice. That's the door to the briefing room. You're in the hallway, okay. That's the door to the criminal psychologist's office. Where am I going? That is not where I wanted to go. <laughs> I asked to go inside here, didn't I? Go inside. Oh my God. This is the briefing room. The junior officers meet here for news, reminders, and the occasional reprimands. The message board is where daily briefing notes are posted after the briefing. That's Officer Carl Law. Carl's, Carl's a real cut-up. The female officer is Pat Morales. You hear she's a tough cookie. That's Officer Kevin Miller. He's one of the old school cops. That's Officer Joseph Banks. Young, smart, and takes his job very seriously. Soothing, isn't it? What is it? Oh, it's a painting. The chalkboard has nothing important on it at this time. The podium is used for giving briefings. Can't give the briefing that way. Notes for today's briefing. Okay. You begin the briefing. Good afternoon, people. I will be filling in for Sergeant Jaco while he's on vacation. You advise the information, the afternoon shift of the procedural information and announcements listing on the clipboard. Oh, God damn it. Have a safe shift and think about making right-hand approaches on your car stops. I think we have to talk to her. Morales, I need to have a word with you in my office after this afternoon's briefing. Sir, Sergeant, I'd love to hear some idiot's complaint. It'd make my day. Hopefully the jingles from the score are popping up as well. So far we have three points. I should have walked the other side. Let's see. No! There we go. You have a serious talk with Morales. I have a complaint here alleging that you verbally you were verbally abusive to one of the violators you stopped. The complaint states that you yelled, screamed, and used profanity. So what do you want from me? The guy was, was a jerk. He'd have liked to do more than file a complaint, if you know what I mean. Continuing the interview, you ask. All right, why don't you tell me what happened? I pull the guy over, right? He's going 75, maybe 80 in a 50 mile zone. I walk up to the car and boom, right away he starts eyeing me and lipping me off. I'm up to, I'm to put up with that crap? You ask Officer Morales directly. Did you raise your voice and use profanity with the man or not? Look, you try being a woman cop for just one day, then tell me how to do my job. Truthfully, I don't even, I don't remember what the hell I said, but whatever it was, I had a damn good reason. Okay, Morales, that's it for now. Get back on duty and see if you can keep the civil and civil servant. Sir, Sarge, whatever you say. Dinner. You think about what you've learned regarding the civilian complaint. Unfounded, you find the complaint unfounded. Exonerated. Not believing the complainant, you exonerate the officer. Sustained. Based on the interview, you conclude that disciplinary action is necessary. You sustain the complaint against her. Undetermined. Feeling undecided based on the interview, you label the complaint undetermined. Uh, I think in the modern world, would we know what we'd pick. <laughs> but I think for the accountability... Side, we got to pick sustained. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> She's a cop. She's innocent. 
you leave the complaint on the lieutenant's desk. All right. Oh, there's something else there. The in and out basket has appears to have something. Remove a requisition form for a computer access card from the basket. Yay. A computer ID request form. You have $10. <laughs> Your Beretta 9mm handgun. Your handcuffs are made of stainless steel. Wait, what's this again? Okay, that's nothing. Your phone sits silently. Is it a cell phone? It is not a cell phone. <laughs> get up, hang up. Okay, get up. Holding a cop accountable? This game's a bigger work of fiction than King's Quest. <laughs> uh, sad, but true. Uh. All right. Um... I'm on level two, right? So let's, okay, there's three levels. Let's go to three. Oh, this looks like a place. The elevated floor consists of individual movable tiles. Oh my God. All computer cables run underneath the tiles. I meant the room. The third floor is home to the computer facilities and dispatch. Mike Downs is the hack technician. He runs the computer facilities. Behind the glass wall, dispatch is busy monitoring the police band. The size of the department's main computer banks always astounds you. The table holds various computer magazines, none of which hold your interest. That's Mike's desk. That's Mike's computer. That's Mike's desk. That's Mike's in and out basket. That's Mike's cabinet. That man is playing Galaga. <laughs> Let's go. The hack technician, Mike Down, stops his work and says, Listen, Sarge, I'm a very busy person. Unless you're here on official business, I don't have time for you. If you don't have your access card, you're out of sync, man. I can't let you access my data without the right authorization sequence. These disks don't spin without the right paperwork. Come back when you've got the requisition form. Well, it just so happens, a-hole, I have that requisition form. Booyah. You hand the requisition form to Mike, the head technician. Oh, damn it. It goes from 0 to 30 megahertz in 3.5 seconds. Is that the computer? <laughs> and it has 4 megabit, megabyte memory capacity, XGA graphics, and a 5 millisecond network access time. He's talking about the computer. You wait for Mike to shut up, but like a bad streak of bad luck, he keeps going. Just don't spill coffee on it, man. You should have seen what I had to go through when the chief dripped ice cream all over his. Yuck. Oh, it's hauled up. Chief now? Mike logs your new card and places it on his desk. Damn it! Stop clicking on things! I know that's a little hard for you cop types to handle, but you'll figure it out. It's a real simple, man. Just boot up your machine and stick in your card. Damn it! Give me that card. Pick up the computer access card. Mike mumbles to himself. I'm sick and tired of cops who don't return things. You hear Mike tell the dispatcher, get on the radio and tell that dimwit banks to give me that tracking device back to me. Dispatch responds, Officer Banks says he needs three, the tracker for three more days. Mike hands up in disgust. All right. Sure, I'll tell him. Hey, Sonny, dispatch needs you to drive out to Aspen Falls to respond to a call. All other units are occupied. All right, we got our first case. Uh, press the button. XGA graphics. I've only ever heard back in the day XGA graphics. I don't actually know what that is. Um, I assume... I mean, I have no idea. I've only heard about it when I was a kid. I never bothered. Because uh, at the time, the VGA was like more than enough for me. <laughs> That's the door to the storage closet. Can we open the storage closet? There's an open box of batteries in the closet. 
There's a box of road flares in the closet. Take some batteries. Take some flares. Okay. Cool. F stuff. Gearing up, I guess. Let's walk to the men's locker. I think I know what happens when you try going to the women's locker, so I'm not going to do that. This is the men's locker. Hence, these are lockers. Which one's mine? Standing in the men's locker. That's your locker. There we go. Toilet needs to a pleasant ambience. Len this the toilet stalls lend a pleasant ambience to the locker rooms. Can I go in here first? Flush, flush. The spiraling water is spellbinding, isn't it? Oops, the TV dispenser is empty. Good thing you notice it while you're still standing. Apparently in the world of police quest, TP is also worth a mountain of gold. Now, what was my combination? Oh yeah, I wrote it down on the inside cover of my police manual. I luckily have said manual. I mean, I could get it out of the original box, but I'll just use the collection guide. I think I remember it. I think it's 776. But if so, the way it works in this game is that it divides all the different police quest manuals into one. So this is like police quest one, the VGA version. You can see it right there. How to play how to play cards. <laughs> you might need to know how to do that. Not saying. Um, but yeah, this is the police quest three manual. Oh, I should change that. I just realized I need to change the. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I forgot to ch update it. Let's do it now. Let me fix that now. I actually got to download the box art. Um, uh, Bear with me as I do that here. Forgot to update the channel information. Okay. This is Police Quest 3. Kindred. This came out in 1991. I think the rest of it still applies. So see her online. See her online, yeah. Um, type, adventure, third person. Okay. All right, cool. Everything else looks great. Okay. All right. So I'm pretty sure it's 776, but let me just check. Yes, Cadet 7 Sunny Bonds. This is supposedly his original, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. From 1976, his original field manual. At the bottom it says, Seven seven six. So seven seven six. There we go. Notebook. We should probably look at these things. This is your flashlight. This is your PR twenty four nightstick. All right. How do I do? There we go. Uh, I guess you put the batteries in the nightstick. I mean, the flashlight. There we go. Yeah. 
Heading out. Do I not have a radio? Notebook. Grasses card, $10. Pure night. We're okay. All righty. Okay, you can hear that. You're in the underground gr gr underground garage at the Lytton City, Lytton County Police Department's new building. Okay, seen that. This door leads to the evidence lockup and lab analysis. Is that the original graphics? What do you mean? Is this the way it looked? Yeah, this is the way it looks. Isn't it? Sign reads, Linden County Police. I mean, if Retro's still there, I don't know if he left, but he would be able to tell you, if, tell us if it's the same. Should I look up a picture? <laughs> oh gosh, I still have the screenshot, I mean, the mobile games page. Uh, yeah? What? You failed to respond to. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, no. I was. I was looking at something. Whoops. Apparently, I took too long. No, it's fine. Don't. Don't apologize for that. At least we know. We know that, uh. Okay, I guess this is my car. Do I have to do the inspection of the car like in Police Quest 1? I guess we'll find out. Whoops. Okay, um... Is there... This button controls the emergency lights and siren. You can't use the radio. It's a computer lid ensure is going high tech. This it's a tracking screen. This device allows you to track a person, vehicle, or any other moving object that that tracking device has been att attached to. Okay. A ignition key. Oops. I'm going. All right, we need to stop. Stop. Um. Bring up the pause. Okay. I have the map. Oh man, look, an awful driving any game. Okay, where are we? We're westbound on Rose. Okay. Fifth. Okay. So we're on Rose and 5th, coming up to 5th. Uh, what's the normal speed limit in America? 45? 50? Is that 4th? Wait, what? I'm going west, so I have to be going the wrong way. I'm going away from the place. Uh, okay, now I'm going southbound on 3rd. Now if I make a left... Eastbound on Lily. Okay. Now I should be heading in the right way to Aspen Falls. Okay. Uh, best game ever. Hey there, Turbo. Did you turn on the map? The map? I'm using the map in the game. Is there another map? <laughs> uh... Hope it's M. He 
You see that green on the console? You see that green screen? This? Okay, but this actually tells me where the what the items are in the manual. <laughs> the manual says it, so uh, sure, I guess. But at least this 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 map actually tells you the street names. So <laughs> uh, this doesn't say anything. Can I look at it? No. How do I get out of this? Oh god. Well, now it's stuck up there. Alright, we're going eastbound on Lily. We're on 6th. So we got a... We got a long way to go. We have until... At least 10th. Until we get up to here, I mean. So it's actually... actually this is actually a good thing to have. Thank you for that, uh... Turbo. Eight. We're going a little fast. I should probably save. <laughs> I should probably save. Tenth. Okay, one more. Walls is coming up. Let's slow it down because I saw a stop sign. There we go. All right, now we're going northbound on walls. Now we have to come up to Peach. I think. Okay, Peach is coming up. No, no, damn it! No! Ah! I missed it. Oh God. All right, hopefully the, the entrance is here. 12th. Is it on the other side? Where's this entrance? Is that on the southern area? I hope it is. There we go, there we go, we found it, we found it. Wait. Oh no! Oh no! You bum, was I supposed to turn in on that sign? Oh, god damn it. I'm starting to see what I, the part of the game I'm not going to like. Oh god! I think I lost points or, I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I went through a stoplight. Whoops.
Stop at the sign. Oh, so I missed it. Yeah, I was trying to stop at the sign, but I friggin' screwed up. Ugh, damn it. Oh, uh, you know what? I might as well just restart it. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. Uh, restore. Yeah, it just makes more sense for me to do this. Slop, stop! <laughs> uh, those curbs just sneak up on you, don't they? Yeah, sure. Uh, I was impatient. Do that again. Back when this first came out, this must have been so much fun. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> oh, I can't drive. Both in game and real life. No. I'm an, I'm okay. I'm an okay driver. It's a rolling stop. I did a rolling stop. Okay, here we go. As soon as that sign hits, we're breaking. I'm not taking any chances. There we go. Wait, what? No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, we got out. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, we're out. Oh, we're safe. Oh, save Aspen. <sighs> oh, officer, thank God. You've got to stop that man. He's a raving lunatic. Okay. Let's let's take a moment. Let me check out chat. If you hit the red button next to the car, you can turn on the sign. Yeah, I already knew that. Yeah, I just started playing this. It's a blind playthrough for me. Um, use the hand on the keys. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, we're done. I think I saved. We're good. So let's do our thing. Just what seems to be the problem, ma'am. There's a man-man over there. Why, why? He's almost butt naked, ranting and raving about aliens from outer space. He's gonna hurt someone. Calm down, ma'am. I'll take care of it. What do you want with us? The nutcase is over there by the river. Lock that madman up before he hurts someone, officer. Do something, officer! The azure summer skies get accented by wispy clouds. The graceful willow trees make Aspen Falls the prettiest park for miles around. All right, well, we're going to mosey on over to where this supposed crazy person is. What are those people eating? Looks delicious. Ah, damn it. This is what I was afraid of. Stupid scum VM not locking windows in. Oh, dear God. This man, the man clearly in a deranged state of mind. <laughs> the man's clearly in a deranged state of mind. Though whether because of drug use or some mental instability is clear. A pile of clothes, probably belonging to the half-naked perpetrator, is sitting by the rocks unattended. Hmm. I guess we shoot the man. <laughs> no. He's getting a little bit more agitated by that. Do you hear that? Okay. Is he saying that? Need help? No, no, I don't need help. 
if if first of all well, if I need help I have my trusty guide with me to lead me on <laughs> but uh, no I, I if I fail I'll just restart and try and figure it out um, I'm just think I'm just listening because I hear something on the audio it sounds like people are talking or is that him You there! Leave this place! I've got to secure it before the Bethonians come! Clear out! Get away! The mothership approaches! Oh, look at his eyeballs. <laughs> um... Normally I would call for backup, but I don't have a radio. How do I not have a radio? You! Don't stop to interfere! Just don't try to stop me! You'll be vaporized if you interfere! What are you doing? That's my badge! <gasps> the Bathonians scoff at your badge, lawman! The mothership will squash you like a pimple! This is your last warning! Can't believe this guy! Deranged men can be real slippery. I'm warning you! If you don't leave, I'm gonna have to hurt you! This area must be evacuated! Fortunately, you're carrying a spare shield. You put it on. Taking your clothes. You search the deranged man's clothes, hoping for something which will lure him out of the water. You find a set of keys and a driver's license. Hey, fella. I think I've got something of yours. Leave those keys alone, foolish mortal. <laughs> Let's look at it. You have the nuts keys. This is Brian Forbes' license. Number 789612. Evacuate this. <gasps> Cosmic, are you telling me to shoot this man? Is that what you're telling me to do? Shoot the man. <laughs> Shooting a perpetrator whose only threat to you is mouth and fist is no way to uphold the law. You've, you're suspended from the LPD in the presence of field day discussing police brutality. They actually let us do it. Oh, that was so satisfying on so many levels. Uh, all right, let's load that up again. That was insanely satisfying. <laughs> I just shot the man in the head. I think that's supposed to happen. Okay. Oops. Brian Forbes, keys. Try the keys in the water. Calling your old softball arm, you haul back and throw the keys as far as you can into the river. <laughs> eye for an eye, Movo. There, now your keys are my badger neighbors. <laughs> I'll kill you for that, you flat-headed, flat-footed ignoramus. Oh God, uh, I think it's time for the nightstick. Uh, nightstick. Hello. <gasps> Boom. Managing to subdue the deranged man with the nightstick, you check for injuries and see that he's more shaken up than hurt. Bam. You cuff the perpetrator while he's... Oh, damn it, that went by so fast. I uh, don't have to read in my rights. Is that done automatically now? It's not my rights, his rights. Do not act. I should probably go get his clothes, right? How is this car a two-seater? Why is there not a rear pa a passenger side? 
That makes no sense. That's a really bad police car. <laughs> you make sure the deranged man is secured and belted to the front of your police patrol car. Okay. The guy is not saying anything that makes sense. Save it here. If you don't mind, Turbo, don't tell me if I have to save or not, because if something happens, it's hilarious, unintentional, and also a learning experience. So please try not to spoil it if you've played this, uh, if you don't mind. If you haven't played it, and like that's what happened. I just finished Police Quest 2. If people who didn't, who hadn't played the game were giving me ideas of what to do, that's fine. I got no problem with that. Uh, in fact, I find it really enjoyable when people are, we're all trying to work together to solve a problem. But if you know the answer, uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't ruin it. <laughs> uh, but I will take your advice. I will save it here because you wouldn't have said it without reason. Do I go get his, do I get his clothes back? Normally I would get his clothes, right? It's evidence, Right. After daydreaming, you realize you still have to get... I know! I know! Oh, for God's sakes, no! Imagine that kind of behavior going on in our public parks. Watch out, dude. He looks pretty squirrely. Be careful with him. Damn it! No! Why is it automatically doing that? Out of his head, the prisoner says, Cold! I'm so effing cold! Who let the fire go out for Christ's sake? Is that Christ? Okay. Uh, Class C, Brian Forbes, 120 Peach, Lydon, USA. Okay. Uh, date of birth, 1963. Identified. Cool. What's a Form 900? <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. Damn it. Quit. No, quit. I want to quit. I want to qu quit. Okay, quit now? Nope. <laughs> it's not letting me quit. There we go. I can't use the radio. That's weird. Oh. It's a speedometer calibration chart. A service record of this car, sp car speedometer. Department policy requires that all speedometers be calibrated every 90 days. Cool. That's a... I can't believe you can't use the radio. That's so weird you can't use the radio. All right, let's see. Where do I have to take him to? The police station. Uh, where's that? Rose and the sixth. So I'm going westbound. Okay. Oh my god! Freaking red button. Oh, wait, I'm going westbound now. Whoa, 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 So then where do I go? I have to go on 6th, right? Yeah. 10th. I can't believe you don't get his clothes as evidence. to the turn
go. I keep forgetting you had to turn on the car itself, not around. Okay. So now it's going to be after Rose. It should be coming up after Rose. So right now this is Poppy. So Poppy, Lily, then Rose. Then Rose is coming up next. Okay, I think it said to turn. There we go. All right, thank God I have the manual <laughs> with the map on it, which gives you the indications. Excellent. Excellent. I think I can actually increase that speed back. lock up this leads to jails okay let's open that a locker door okay uh three years difference between pq2 and so yes pretty much what does that say? Oh. Come on, this way. The booking room is clean and sparsely furnished. Behind the protective glass is Officer Smith, the booking officer. A payphone provides a means for outside calls. There's a towel dispenser for cleanups. It's not uncommon for prisoners to leave bodily fluids of one kind or another on the floor. The gas chrom chrom chromatograph. This machine measures the blood alcohol content of breath samples. Is he drunk? Uh, I don't know. I don't think he is. <laughs> A counter and storage cabinets line one of the walls of the booking room. You idly wonder if this guy will ever make it through the night, through one night in the jail, or whether they'll ship him right out to the mental institute. It's you, Sonny. That door leads to the transfer holding cell. Once you walk through that door, you're officially a prisoner of Linden County until a judge decides otherwise. All right, uh, we'll save because you gotta make sure. Jail. I'm about ready for a break, Bonds. Let's hurry up and get this guy behind bars so I can eat my sandwich. I forgot what he said. Finish up and hand him over, Bonds. Okay, so I clearly have to fill out something here. There's nothing except cleaning supplies and paper in the cabinets under which you need. What do you wish to put in the drop? Uh, what's this again? Notebook. I don't need to write him anything? Okay. You put the suspect's license in the drawer. Finish up and hand him over. You find a knife concealed in the man's briefs. Good work. Woo! Woo, baby. That would have been bad. A knife. Put the suspect's knife into the drawer. You mean you tell you mean to tell me you fished that out of su that this guy's shorts? You got some guts, Bonds. You've already searched him. You enjoy it much the first time. Uh, I bet you like the strip search best of all. <laughs> There's no run to test this guy. His problems run deeper than alcohol. Uh, nothing. So, what are we booking this fine upstanding citizen on anyway? Oh, fudge. Pickles. It's the wrong game.
booking evident no booking prisoner 94 No, that's booking. So where are the violation codes? There has to be one. There has to be a section in this book for that. What? Oh, there we go. The radio codes. Vehicle codes? Penal codes. Penal code. Um... Well, first off, one two zero two five. One two zero two five. Wait, what? Resisting arrest would have been one. Do you not do multiples? Possession of cocaine, possession of controlled substance, no. Burglary, no. Assault and battery on a police officer, no. He tried, but he didn't. It's He wasn't successful. Resisting arrest, definitely. Attempted murder, no. Kidnapping, no. Att I would think it would qualify for multiple, right? Why couldn't I into... Okay, whatever. Whatever, it accepted it, it gave me the points. So now we have 55 out of 460. Do I, do I have my cuffs? I do. I just got a message that you're to assist an officer on the freeway bonds ASAP. On the freeway. So where do I go? Oh my god. Freeway. Uh, chase. The officer spoke while you were reading. What did he say? I mean... Not a big deal, we just reload it, I guess. Okay. Well, oops. Okay, so what? I mean, this is the part where I was looking at the book. So what's he going to possibly say other than... One four eight is the code. I'm like trying to... Look at the flip through the pages of the book while quickly looking to see if he says anything. Unless, oh, maybe when I submitted it, it did it. Okay. Okay. So 148 is not it. Oh, uh, where's that page again? 148. Okay. So resisting arrest is not a penal code that's applicable in this case. One, two. Five zero two. Oh, I typed it wrong. There. Okay. Say, Bonds, Officer Morales is requesting a supervisor for a refusal to sign. She's waiting out on the freeway near the 7th Avenue on ramp. This is really ridiculous. This should not... I wish it would let me... Alright, 7th Avenue. 7th Avenue on ramp. <sighs> See, those are the things I need. Let's, uh... Get the notebook out for a new game.
Morales, seventh. Okay. Um, look at the map here. So, Seventh Avenue on ramp. So it's going to be really hard to show this on the book. If I had the PDF, I could have shown it, but I don't have a digital copy of this game. Uh, so the this is really hard to show. So I have to like go over here pretty much. The police station's over here, and I got to go over here onto that on-ramp. All right. I think when you exit the police station, you immediately go south. Or do you go east? Either way, I got to make a left on 7th. Uh, if you like Sierra games, you should play Space please, Space Quest and the Dig. Yeah, I, f well, I cheated my way to victory and Dig. <laughs> uh, and I do have Space Quest. I have all of them. Like, um... Yeah, I have like Space Quest Three. I have I, the only box I don't have is the VJ copy of uh, Police Quest. Uh, but the version of this game I'm running off of is the Police Quest Collection. It was uh, this release that had all four games and um, uh, SWAT. Yeah, I have the boxes. I just uh, I only ever play Police Quest One when I was a kid, and I finished that. But I never played two, three, or four. Even though, funny story, the first ever police game, police quest game I ever bought was four. And then that was back as a child. And I never finished it because um, the game kept crashing at a particular scene. I don't know why it kept crashing, but I guess it was just old. Uh, my computer just couldn't handle it for some reason. It just kept crashing me back to Windows. So I've had, uh, I've had it for years, but then over the years I kept trying to find copies of the original because it's like the original so yeah i got so this is police quest 3 i'm gonna <laughs> i love showing it uh the game we just finished police quest 2 vengeance uh and i'm using this copy of police quest this is the the one that co combined that has all four games and it has swat which I don't think has an ending. Um, but, uh, yeah. Man. Ugh, it's gonna be rough. You didn't like Police Quest 4? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people think Police Quest 4 is probably the weakest one out of all of them. Uh, PQ2 you think is the best? Uh, I can see that. It was a lot of fun to play. Uh, but my biggest issues with it were that I felt like it was a bit of a step back when it came to how descriptive it was. When um, I felt like Police Quest 1 was more descriptive whenever you used a look command. It, it just felt like it was easier for me to follow things as a child. And as an adult, even now when I'm playing it now, Police Quest 2, it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, not know what I'm doing, but like you have to like figure out things a bit more in Police Quest 2, especially compared to 1. Uh, but I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun compared to one. Not sorry, not to one. It was a lot of fun to play and finish. And it was satisfying to shoot people. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to shoot people. <laughs> um, all right. I think we know where to go. Uh, did we get our cuffs? No, we did not. Forgot our cuffs almost. All right, let's save. I'll overwrite freeway chase. Since we know where to go now. Was there a street called Aspen? No, no, it's just called Aspen Falls. I was getting a little turned around, a little mixed up. Okay. It's 357. Stop. 
we're going southbound on 6th. Shoot. So I have to make an immediate left on Rose. Okay. And then the 7th is coming up. Okay. Now, I should miss, not miss, I should go past Peach and the on-ramp is there. We are definitely not taking any chances. Yes, 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 yes. Nope, stop, 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 stop. Okay. You pull up ahead and see a black and white pulled off to uh, off the freeway along with a detained vehicle. You slow down and pull to the side. Nice. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Traffic stop. Walk on the right side. Let's look around. Highway 41 runs all the way through Lydon. That must be Officer pa Officer Morales' patrol car. The, off uh, the Officer Morales' black eyes challenge you. What? The Officer Morales' black eyes challenge you. She impresses you as being both arrogant and stubborn. There is one woman in the car. She looks upset but not dangerous. Hey, thank you for the follow, Turbo. Much appreciated. The plate reads 83756. Odd time. Okay, well, I guess I... I remember. Walk on the right side. Don't walk on the left. I did save, right? Yeah, so I'll show you what happens. I do remember this. Yeah! <laughs> A smart cop knows that you never approach a detained vehicle from the driver's side. Better crack open that officer's manual and bone up on correct procedures. Still talking. All right. Oh, that was that was satisfying. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't use the Wilhelm scream. Okay, boss man, you handle it. Why is the violator refusing to sign the ticket? Who knows? Jeez, first I get this stupid cow, now I have to deal with you too. This policy about calling a supervisor for failure to sign sucks. Look, I don't need you. I'm taking her downtown. No, you're not. You're gonna stand right here until I have a chance to talk to the violator. How do you not have a radio in your car? I mean, on hand. No, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. Looking at the young lady, you see that she's pregnant and nearly full term. You introduce yourself to the woman and say, Your signature on the citation is not an admission of guilt, ma'am. Only your promise to appear. I don't care. You think I'm afraid to sign that tiny stupid ticket? If it was a check for $10,000, I wouldn't sign it for that witch over there. Can't believe the LP LPD would allow someone like her to patrol our streets. What a waste of taxpayer tax money. She's rude, abusive, and insulting. I refuse to sign a ticket for anybody who calls me a fat girl. Would you please reconsider and sign the citation? Hell no! Take me to jail! <laughs> what should I do with this lady, you think? Oh god. The woman only winces as though the emotion of the situation is causing her. All right, can we go back in the car? Can we talk to you again? All right, Morales, the violator said you were abusive and rude. Why don't I have a hard time believing that? Look, Sarge, it's obvious that the lady's hysterical. She'd pop off at you if you looked at her funny. She's been belligerent and hostile ever since I stopped her. She's begging for a night in jail. So what are you going to do, boss man? 
I'll take her to jail, Pat. I'll witness her failure to sign. Uh, signature. I'm not going to put a pregnant woman in prison. Am I? <laughs> signature. Wisely and correctly, you write refusal to sign. Ugh. Okay. Jeez, where'd you get your training? Charm school? Why don't you do, why don't you let her walk all over you? Why don't you? Or we got the point. So. Traff. Morale. Two. The woman only winces as though the emotion in the situation is causing her because we can't tell her to go. All right. Um. You've already taken care of the situation. You better bake back. Okay. All right. I guess we're done. Eight three seven five six. I will, however. A three seven five six. 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 Eight three seven five six. Let's take a look. Registration expires three six ninety two. License number eight three seven five six. Vehicle ID zero nine eight two three. Make Ford year model eighty six. Janice Wilkes, 424th Street, Lydon, USA. Okay. Okay. I have to keep remembering the cars. You can drive the car now. Uh, patrol. Probably gonna be multiple instances of this, so let's save. Patrol one. Um, where am I? Or I can get off at Oak. So we just keep driving eastbound on the 41. Now we're eastbound on Oak, so. I guess I just keep driving. So I'll make a first right. Oh, the music. What's going on? Meanwhile, at the Oak Tree Mall, Sonny's wife, Marie, is getting off from work. 6.35. <gasps> Who's that? shouldn't have laughed but uh the fact they animated her tongue moving was funny oh my god what happened a radio call interrupts your thoughts of being home with marie tonight dispatch 64 s2 Lydon. sunny oh Lydon. 64 s2 go ahead dispatch respond to an assault at oak tree mall 300 east rose s2 300 east rose s2 300 east rose Please don't cut, cut out. Please don't cut out. Please don't cut out. Please don't cut. Let me write this down. Let me write this down. Oak tree mall 300 east rows S2. What does S2 mean? 
Sunny, 10-4. Okay. Oak Tree Mall. Is Oak Tree Mall a landmark that's showing on here? We have... 300 East. I'm on 10th. Southbound on 10th. Okay. on peach now uh can i give you an advice mm. you know right now let's hold off on giving advice let me it's a blind playthrough i'm right now i'm kind of sussing how things play out in this game so let's uh let's see how it goes <laughs> let's let's see how i can do on my own um, all right, so, uh, we have to go to Oak, which is this, this street here. No, oh, boy, my God. All right, now, you know what? Tell me the advice. Now I'm curious. <laughs> as long as it's not a spoiler, it should be fine. Tell me. Because now I'm, you got me interested. <laughs> now I'm kind of wondering what you what, what, what it was you're going to say. Uh, we are going eastbound. I'm going west. Okay. Go back to your patrol save game. Um, if there's a call there, I mean... That's kind of a spoiler. <laughs> what you just said. Uh... Yeah, I probably shouldn't have asked. <laughs> uh, now, if I miss something, I missed it. It, it's fine. How does this work, though? You're in the south. Oh, wait, there. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Stop. Stop the car. I misread this map completely. Oak Tree Mall. Oak. It's not Oak Street. It's Oak Tree Mall is the name of the place. 300 East Rose. Oh, man. I don't get it. How does that work? Oh, the intersection of rows and 300. Oh. Ah. Okay. It's at the intersection. So it's over here. But since you... Since I did go the wrong way and you're like... Alright. We'll just keep going on the highway. Hopefully this road doesn't end. End of the freeway. Oh god. Since you've turned reached the end of your jurisdiction, turn around and head the other direction. Great. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, 
<laughs> All right, so. Oh, damn it. The plate reads three, four, five, six, seven. Damn it, I should have done that. Maybe I should have done that while chasing him. Let's see. But yeah, that was a spoiler. <laughs> that was a spoiler. If I had missed it, I missed it. But yeah. Ah, that's fine. Let's wait for this car. Yeah, I can look. Yeah, it's three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, Orpheus Hanley, 201 Fig Street, Linden. Looks like there's no warrants out for it. Okay, now he's pulling over. Convertible has only one occupant. There's nothing unusual looking about him. Good Lord, where you come from? You must have fell out of the sky, man, because I never saw you. Sir, I'll need you to see your driver's license and vehicle registration, please. Do you know why I stopped you? I know, I know, I was speeding. I had to do it, man. See, I'm on my way to see this beautifully constructed female, a real Nubian queen, you know what I mean? Try to picture it, officer. She's all these legs. Have mercy. They go all the way up. Can I help it if I'm a sucker for them? Well, whatever. See, I was talking, taking way too long to get to her house. Another 10 minutes, I wouldn't have been able to drive at all. You know what I mean? Don't you, officer? Hey, have a good, good night, pal. Pie. Uh, next stream is on... S should be Sunday. It'll be a Sunday. Yeah. No, wait, yes. I don't know. I usually stream on Sunday now, but something came up. I'm not sure if I'll be able to stream on time because of it. So, um, but again, it is Sunday, so I might stream regardless. Either that, if not, then definitely Monday. Either way, hopefully I'll see you again very soon. And you have a great night. Did I get my, did I get his stuff? Oh, he did. Or his license, where's his registration? No, what? No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, uh, what? No, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> you have a good one as well. I just want to talk to him. He said I need his registration, right? I all I got was his license. Damn it. What do you need to do? Kick the tires? <laughs> walk back form 900 first you must insert the violators license into the computer okay you slur you insert the driver's license into the slot this activates the computer 
Enter military time. Uh, <laughs> how am I supposed to know what time it is? Shoot. Did it say the time when it's made the stop? Like... Come on. How do I know what time to look at? Oh, for God's sakes. No. How do I know what time it is? Okay, we're gonna reload that and see if it gives me a time. Uh, maybe I missed that. Patrol one. Damn it. Let's just pass this. Is that the time? Nineteen eighty one? Oh no, that's not nineteen oh one? Seventeen eighteen, six eighteen. Oh no, uh, five eighteen. It's five eighteen. Okay, five eighteen. Five eighteen. Should also write down the license plate. Some good, some good music though. Really liking this music. actually pretty easy a good old Roman MT32 Was it 517? It was 517. Three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, seven is a valid entry. Three, four, five, six, seven is what I typed, right? 1517. Vehicle code. Vehicle code would be well, I guess exp it's not expired. Uh, exceeding the maximum speed limit two, two, three, four, nine. You pull the ticket and license out of the computer. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Don't talk to him. Yeah, right, dude. I'm sorry, Mr. Hanley. I sympathize with you, but you're going to have to be more responsible when you're operating a moving vehicle. 
Gotta give me a ticket, huh? Well, that's what I get for being a hero. You're just doing your job. Am I okay to go? You're all set. Slow it down and have a good evening. Oh, I will. Some good beats. Notice something? Did you notice something, Turbo? When I looked at my inventory? I'll give you a chance to look at the inventory and you tell me what, what's missing. My god, I forgot my gun back at the station. <laughs> my gun! Gotta go back and get my gun. Ah Okay, fine. Let's uh let's get off. Let's get off. Uh hopefully I can get off near the station. Oh god. Let's go. Westbound on 41. End of the freeway. All right, well, we're... Oh, gosh. Another one? It's a black Dodge with exempt plate of 12896. Registration exempt. License number 12896. Vehicle ID 99947. Make Dodge. Your model 89. County of Jackson Sheriff Department. 100 Quail Drive. Uh, it's a cop car. I guess you... Yikes. You wisely decide not to pull over the Allied agent. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. <gasps> Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, what is this? Patrol to underscore two. All right, let's just get off whenever possible. Damn it. <laughs> Keep missing the exit. Up ahead, you see a slow car impeding traffic in the fast lane. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. How do I... How do I stop these cars? Okay, let's let's go after cars too far ahead of you. Maybe I can get ahead of it and just slow down. I can't break the car. Stop the car! Stop the car, sir! Damn it! It went, didn't it? It's gone. Okay. 
Let's reload that again. Don't don't save that. Uh, restore that. Okay. <sighs> I didn't expect to have a third traffic stop. Maybe I should get in behind these cars. Wouldn't these guys pull over to let me pass? Move. No? can't slow it down from the let's just stay here and see what happens turning off the engine while you're moving is not a good idea I don't know the continue car continues on its way so it just leaves okay so that's not right It immediately cuts to thing. Okay, we had to line up with the other car, okay. 643. It's a Lord 58 Ford Fairlane. Nice flame job. The plate reads 22776. 22776. Sir, I pulled you over because you were driving too slow in the fast lane and traffic was backing up behind you. You finished by requesting the driver his driver's license and registration. What you talking about, man? You guys always trying to just want to hassle me. Say yes, say. You can check my check out my ride. I just have a brand I just have a brand new Smoglia device. Just don't lean on my new paint job. After checking the registration, you hand it back to him and he says, You pigs are all the same, man. So, okay, with it was okay, so we gave back his registration to the previous driver. Get in the car. Let's first check the plate. 22776, 22776. One Jose Ruiz, one one five Lily Street. All right. Okay. Come on, quit. Why is this game so funky when it comes to the computer screen? Here we go. One Louise's license four three four three zero one. Shoot, I should have written it down. <laughs> Forgot the name of it. 
Oh, damn it. I mean, this is probably don't have to do any of this, but you know, just a nice little bit of a uh, police procedures must be kept. Four, three, four, three, zero, one. Because you know, could be a stolen car. Four, three, four. Or he has a warrant out. Who knows? Four, three, four, three, zero, one. Should always check. All right. Seems to be in check. Oh, damn it. We got a first card in. Alrighty, the time was uh eighteen forty three, and the vehicle code. He was driving so slow. I remember seeing that code. I just don't remember driving too slow in the fast lane. Two one six five four. One, six, five. Did I, didn't it, isn't it supposed to jingle? Hmm. After handing the ticket to his license to Mr. Ruiz, he says, Ay! Man, you pigs make me want to puke, man! I'll see you in the people's court, man! Judge Wapner will take care of you, S.A. And you have a nice day, sir. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's a lowrider. He was actually driving so slow in the fast lane that I had to pull him over. Alright. Uh, let's save. We're on patrol 3 now. How come I didn't get a point for that? Did I type in the wrong code? Driving too slow in the fast lane. 21654, that's what I typed, right? Well, I'll keep that. Well, I need it anyways. I need the map. I forgot. Ugh. Damn it. Up ahead, you see a car weaving. Oh, crap. Drunk car. The driver of the vehicle sees your lights and begins to pull over. Nineteen oh five, which would be seven oh five. Uh, did you play Police Quest One EGA or VGA? I finished the EGA version, uh, years ago, and I actually finished the EGA version on stream, uh, way back one. You can actually, if you go to the videos tab, you'll actually see my playthrough. It's all the way down. You have to scroll all the way back down to one of my earlier uh, playthroughs. Uh, VGA, I did play, and I'm pretty sure this... F I finished it, I think. 
but that one had a map when you drove. I want to say that had a map, which made the game immensely easier than this. <laughs> Way more enjoyable to drive in that game. All right, so I wrote down the time, 7.05. Um, the plate reads 0, 1, 9, 2, 3. In retrospect, by the way, Turbo, you were right. You were definitely right on the money with me advising me to go back on the highway. Otherwise, I'd have missed out on all this. If it was one thing, yeah, I could have been like, okay, I could have missed it. But all this stuff, yeah, I would have missed. <laughs> would have, wouldn't it? Would have uh, missed out on it. So thank you for that. Um, but you could have told me about my gun, man. <laughs> Oh, damn it. All I got is a key. Oh, God. What if there's a violent dude? I got to get out. I got to get back to the station. Oh, boy. Here we go. Let's go walk up to him. The suspect's car. No, I just want to look at the guy. Sir, you be, seem to be driving a bit erratically. I need to see your driver's license. As he fumbles through his wallet, getting his license, you think to yourself, it's obvious by looking this man is inebriated. Have you been drinking, sir? Just a couple. Shay. Hey. Officer, what'd you say we polish off a bowl of bourbon together? You think to yourself, if I continue inhaling the, the pollution this man is, in, is exhaling, my lungs will be worse off than the ozone layer. Oh, that's a dated joke. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, where's the license? Uh, I'm looking at the man, not the road. Would you please step out of the car, sir, and feel, perform a field sobriety test? What heck ever you say, officer? Sir, I want you to follow my finger with your eyes. Oh, damn it. Okay, he says. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Can't move the finger up or down? Holy smokes, you think to yourself, this poor guy is plowed. Obviously, this man is too drunk to be drunk. <laughs> oh. Yuck! Vomited on my shoe. Sir, based on the test I've given you, and on my shoes, it is obvious you're, in you're intoxicated, no condition to drive. I'm going to have to place you under arrest. Don't bother. He's too incoherent. Sir, I have to take you to custody for driving under the influence. Search him. Excuse me? Please step over to the patrol car. I had to search him, right? Or do I have to do that at the jail? Okay. I don't even have his license. That makes no sense. The dr driver says, this isn't necessary officer. I'm perfectly fine. I bet you are a drunkie. I bet you are. All right. I think. There 
there's one coming up. There's an off ramp, I mean. Gotcha. Okay, we're eastbound on Peach now. Oh, I'm just, I'm so close to the police station. So if I'm at 10th, I can make a right. This is 7th. No, I, I'm, why am I looking at that map? This is actually correct. You should be making a right here. There we go. Southbound on 7th. And then make a right on Rose. Westbound on Rose. And then make a right on... and it should be coming up there we go we're back yeah uh i've played some really good games and i never my whole purpose of streaming is to go through my backlog and a lot of these games that I've played, <laughs> I have physical copies of. I just never played them. So this has been like, you know, it's been a, it's been a long time for me. <laughs> uh, but it's been fun. There's so many more games to go through. It seems to be a never-ending, never-ending cycle. Can I open this? This is not an appropriate place to... Hey, well, technically our gun is back. No, 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 you don't need the gun. Leave it. It's okay. Okay. Come on, this way. Uh, so many more games to play through. I gotta play through... Police Quest. At some point, I'm gonna play through Space Quest. At some point, I gotta play through King's Quest. At some point, I gotta play through... Um, Quest for Glory. At some point, I got to play through Manhunter. At some point, I got to play through... Um, the other Dynamics games that they put by Jeff Tunnel. Um, Mark of the Dragon. Um... Heart of China. I actually have those games. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I should really play those. All right. Let's start searching you. Remove the cuss from the door. No. I want to search him. All right. Let's take him here. Step over here, sir, now. I'm sorry, how does this work? You turn on the grass cr chromatograph. I want you to blow as hard as you can into this tube. All right, Cosmic, you have a good night. What time is it? Oh, man. You know what? After, um... <clears throat> After this, and, uh, after this, I think I'll call it a night as well. So, what happened? Oh. According to this, your blood alcohol limit level is 0.15. That is well over the legal limit. I'll have to book you. Uh. Finish up and hand him over, Bonds. Okay, guess we 
All right, I guess I don't have to search him. Step over here and empty your pockets. Why do I? Already removed his cuffs. Uh, where is the... Yeah, Turbo, it was good to uh, see you. Thank you for the follow, and I hope can catch you in the next stream. Uh, I don't have anything to put in the drop. Did I forget to do something? I don't have anything else. How dry I am, how wet I'll be if I don't find a place to... Uh oh Okay, I had to click on the door. What's the violation code? But yeah, after this, I'll call it a night. Uh, let me get my gun first. Uh, vehicle code. Penal code? Not a penal code. Uh, two, three, one, five, two. Driving under the influence of intoxicants. That sounds right. All right. Okay. Thanks, Sonny. Hope the rest of your patrol is less exciting. Meanwhile... At the Oak Tree Mall, Sonny's wife is just getting off of work. 632. <gasps> Sonny Bonds, please call dispatch at once. I think it's my payphone. First. Get my gun out, because that would have been embarrassing. Scraping too is used to scrape dried evidence such as blood or paint off other surfaces. Okay, camera, toothpicks. How do I leave? Damn it. There we go. Oh, the sun set. It's that time now. The window overlooks scenic downtown Lydon. Calling dispatch. Let's see. What could they possibly want? And uh I think we know what happened. 
Our phone is here, right? Respond to an assault at 300 block of East Rose, the Oak Tree Mall. Okay, so. Oh, damn it. Uh, let me restore that. Uh, bring that up, save, write it down, then I can save it for next time. I want to make sure I get the exact address. Okay. Oak Tree Mall, 300 block of East Rose. And that will be it. Save this as current. So current underscore one. And resume this next time. All right. <sighs> what a ride. We managed to finish Police Quest 2, and we've started our run at Police Quest 3. And it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. Um, big thank you to Retro for the raid. Thank you for that. And uh, to Turbo for the follow. I'll be back on... Uh, Sunday would have been uh, the normal day for me to come on, but I might have something to do. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have to miss the entire day or if I'm going to have to start late. If I miss the day, it'll be on Monday. If not, it'll be later on on Sunday. Uh, my timing is all over the place when it comes to Sunday because it's not a time I usually stream at, but with everything going on, uh, I um, have time. <laughs> so uh, I'll be back on, uh, yeah, I'll be back on Sunday with more Police Quest 3. And that was a lot of fun. Um, let's see whom I can give a host to. Post. Do, do, do. Uh, cause playing Streets of Rage 4, as always. Uh, is there anything else in the retro channel that I can give a host to? Mm. And it goes nuts is playing Indianapolis 500, which is awesome. Or we can watch. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, hey there, Foamed. Uh, yeah, you did. Uh, we went through uh, all of Police Quest 2 when I just started Police Quest 3. So uh, next time you'll be seeing that, hopefully you can catch you then. Uh, you have a great night as well, Foam. Thanks a lot. Um, you know... You know what? <laughs> let's watch some it's friday night let's watch some uh, game center cx card freak has been going above and beyond and uh streaming 24 hours of um one of my favorite shows game center cx so let's enjoy that uh but until then everyone have a great weekend hopefully i'll see you either on monday or sunday uh, and um Take care. Bye.